There's played Spacey's ever since he's been playing Smash Brothers. Yeah, no, yeah, actually. Since, like, the very beginning. I mean, since Melee. Yes. Yeah, he was like a ranked Falco in SoCal in Melee. Uh, but yeah, we but do have his opponent, Yoshi Free. Yoshi Free. Who's also from SoCal, and uh -huh. I believe he was the third seed of this pool, so there might be some really? type of upset. Wow, look at all this. Look at all this. That was actually a grab in the 77% into his opponent at the ledge. That was yeah, that's, brilliant. That's living like Larry. That's what. I, that's all I saw, Larry. Mm. <laughs> Larry Lur. What is the Orca tag, you know? Uh, he just likes the tag. He just likes Orca. I've asked him like five times. He's like, not, come he's on, not man. telling you. There's, there's there has to be like some under some underlying secret, secret here. Yeah. Like, nah, man. I just, I just like Orca. Yeah. All right. All right. You do you, Larry. You do you. Yeah, Mr. Gamer watching this game, like, he's got some stuff for sure. He's going to make up a little bit of a deficit right now. But, oh, Dash Tag is that going to KO? No, no, not quite wait. just yet. Not even on someone as. Nice! Thin as, uh, yeah, not even as thin as someone as uh, Mr. Gamer Watch. Yeah. That was actually really good timing from Larry to get the uh, the two frame on Gamer Watch. Because, like, think about Gamer Watch. He goes so high with that up that he can really. Really, really, really mix up that timing, right? He can go super low and still hit that up and still recover, so. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, and getting that first time, man, you're able to see Larry's able to build up a lot of percent. I feel like the Blaster is pretty good in this matchup because, like, oh, my God, he nares through the entire breakfast buffet. He nares, he he nares through the, the bacon, the eggs, the grits. And when you're hungry for breakfast, you just take it all. Yeah, you're, yeah, no, that's the, uh... <laughs> Uh, that's me on a Sunday, man. <laughs> okay, well, using the fair from the ledge, he's gonna be able to get back. He does get punched by Yoshi, Yoshi Freak with that quick upbeat. Uh huh. Yeah, oh Yoshi Freak. Okay, he's got the fishbowl on him. He said, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna you're gonna swim with the fishes. I love the way that Yoshi Freak utilizes the upbeat from Game Watch. That's like the ejection button. Get me out of this situation. Yeah. Yeah, no, totally. That's something that you know Game Watch is kind of able to do uniquely, right? Yeah. Right. Very, very few characters in the game can just up the out of danger. Right, and then not even worry about it because they can, like, you know, parachute to safety. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we do see a down throw, and now you see Larry mm. fishing for those two frames. Not able to find it. Wow, no grounded animation on that down smash from Yoshi Freak. Yeah, that was wild. All right. Ah, okay, like, going for the dash attack there. Eh, kind of makes sense. You know, if you hit it, you're probably going to win. Very true. It does have, like, an extended hitbox, too, just because of... Uh, Game Watch's animation is like a slide in his 2D characters. So he's, he has these like weird frame animations. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of his, his thing. And uh, he's kind of got that thing going too where like his frame data is like a little bit better than it looks. Oh, but Yoshi Freak tries to jump forward and Larry calls it out with that up smash. That's going to be game one. Yoshi Freak, is he playing Yoshi? Or is he one of the, the countless <laughs> smashers that name themselves after one character but then, then don't play that character? I believe he subscribes to that second group. Okay. I think that's that might be more of a common thing in Melee. That's actually so common in Melee. Why is that so common? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I'm really, really, really not sure. Well. It's just, you know, sometimes you name it because, you know, you're feeling a certain type of way, but feelings change. Feelings fade over time. You're right. Okay, you, know. you get in a relationship with that girl and you think she's the one. But then three years later, you're like, you know what? I want to hit the open market again, you know? <laughs> and uh, and then you, you find yourself a Game & Watch man. <laughs> oh, no. That, that sounds like a dark future. I don't know about that, Tom. We'll see, man. Okay, yeah, good good recognition for him to get that grab. I'm trying to drop some bombs on him. But uh, honestly, like, the thing about the neutral game right now is I feel like Larry Lur has been kind of pile driving through Yoshi Freak's defense, right? Like. He throws out, like, you know, the neutral B to kind of keep himself safe, but I feel like Wolf has the strong enough narrow where he can just kind of go through it and... Oh, okay. Getting clipped by that down smash. And like, like you were saying, you know, Larry is able to approach whenever he feels like it, but Yoshi Freak's still putting up a wall that right. Larry has to deal with. Yeah. He has to respect it somewhat. Yeah. No, totally. Okay. So from what I heard, they actually uh, removed a lot of the invulnerability on that up smash from Game Watch. In Smash 4, Game Watch was able to like almost spam that move just because it had so much invulnerability. Oh, is that the case? It actually got dialed down a little yeah, bit? Yeah, it did. Huh, no kidding. Funny thing there is if Larry actually went for a down smash, it might have KO'd because he would have gotten the back hit. Oh, but, uh, okay, okay, down, down there. Two. Wolf can two-frame with just about everything. Must be nice. Must be nice. Must be living like Larry. Yeah, must be living like Larry. <laughs> okay. Hits him with the turtle. Oh, wow. There's that ejection button, you know. Get me out of here. Yeah. 
and you see the frame date on the down smash. Like, yo, like how many characters are able to do a down smash like that and then immediately throw another move out? Okay, he tried he to actually bait. able yeah. to grab it that time, yeah. So Larry's got uh, Yoshifuku out of jump, descending. Okay. And I like the, the choice. I respect the choice from Larry to just like kind of back off and reset back to neutral. Because with that key, it makes it kind of difficult to challenge where uh, Game Watch is going to be landing if you're trying to shark. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, like, you know, how much has Yoshi Freak really been uh, even going for that? Oh, my. No. Oh, wow. Clever, clever recovery option. Going all the way to the town to see the side black. Side B. Not going to KO. Throwing out the, getting a little bit more horizontal with the with the down B. Yeah, bringing out the turtle. Oh, so strong. bring him out. You gotta feed your pets. Yurtle, you gotta feed your pets. You say Yurtle? Yurtle, that the is turtle. Name? Yurtle the turtle. Is that like a you know New York thing? Uh, I believe it's a children's book. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> oh, oh, good tech tech chase. Yep, yep. Gets the reaction. Okay, but that dash tag, he got the KO with the dash tag the first off. Not gonna quite KO this time. Oh, jeez. Every little move feels like, you know, if Yoshi Freak... I feel like at this point, f will kill from across the stage. I mean, we're almost there. We've seen f land a couple times, so it might be a little bit scaled. Ah. Like back here, we haven't seen that land at all. Yeah. That move is fresh. That move is fresh. I don't think it needed to be fresh. Like, that <laughs> That would have killed, like, 70% earlier. Oh, especially like, when you're as thin as paper, for sure. Oh, my God, yeah. Nice. Yeah, see, no, you're... you're Call it, man. The way Larry's just waiting it out, like Yoshi, you can go in the air, you can try to, you know, try to throw out as many moves as you want on your way down. But I'm here, and I'm gonna hurt you. And you know, when you're up in full stock, it's your game to play. Yeah, you really get to set the tone. Oh, oh my God! Hit the lottery, but unfortunately did not oh. hit Larry. Yeah, he he. That's that's when you get the winning ticket, but you didn't go to redeem it. Yeah, you gotta cast that in. Yeah, you actually gotta. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta tell him. Look, I got the six numbers right here. All right, hitting with the turtle, hitting with the fish, trying to hit, you know, all, all of SeaWorld. Throwing all of SeaWorld at him. I mean, you got to use your pets. Mm -hmm. Going scuba diving himself, put the helmet on. But Wolf said, I'm a land mammal. I'm a land mammal. And uh, what's more, my orca eats all of your sea creatures, so. <laughs> oh, oh, catching with the turtle. Yoshi Freak bringing this one stock of peace. Yeah, yo, never mind. Okay, here we go. He's got the offense going. Oh, I thought that was going to be a down smash. I thought he was going to try to cover the, the tech and place tech in. I mean, that was definitely an option that he had, but sometimes best, just best to go for the guaranteed. I guess so. Yeah, another Epto. Now Yoshi Freaks finds him off stage again. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a free grab. What that was, was that? Where was the down smash, Larry? <laughs> okay, up smash. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, there's the key. The another keys to the castle. Yep. Another Epto from Larry. You know, swiping at the ledge, looking for the two frame. Oh, jeez! Okay. He traded right, so he didn't get the second, uh, the second hitbox of that move. That's right. Now, very, very actually. Oh, okay. Oh. Punching him right into the blast zone. Maybe, two uh, oh. Yeah. Jeez. It's close. Yeah. It's honestly close. Yoshi like, Freak was bringing it back. They weren't. They were not. Uh, 